Hi everyone, this is Mr. No. Today I will show you Animate Anyone 2. We will look at what it is and how we can use it. So you, this is again released by China from Alibaba. So Alibaba has released this uh, model. So let's go into the GitHub page to see what exactly this is. So Animate Anyone 2 is like a high fidelity character image animation with uh, environmental affordance. So if you come here, you can see various demo. So it will, it will take some time for it to load because there are a lot of uh, sample videos they have put in. So how it works is that you can just put an inference image and that will change the uh, video. So if you look at this video from Mr. Bean, so this is the inference image. So it has taken that inference image and it has changed the entire video based on um, that. So let me try to load that for you. So you see, only this video was provided along with this image and uh, this has been used to generate this video, which is kind of cool. So similarly, you will see various demo in the platform of uh, various examples that they have given there. So let's look at a few more examples there in the pl platform. So now if you see, this is another example where this person's image was used to replace a skating boat. So now this is Ronaldo. And this is an another video. Here you can see Ronaldo is climbing the wall and doing things. This is Joker. The photo of a Joker actually. Then this is the video. Now you can see this. So in abstract, what is this? So let me read through this. So recent character image animation methods based on diffusion models such as Animate Anyone have made significant progress in generating consistent generalizable character animations. However, these approaches fail to produce reasonable association between characters and their environment. So that is the main draw drawback of Animate Anyone. So you can look at the code and get the page of Animate Anyone. So that they have overcome in the version 2. So however, these approaches fail to produce reasonable association between characters and their environment. So to address this limitation, we introduce Animate Anyone 2 aiming to animate characters with environment affordance. Beyond extracting motion signals from source video, we additionally capture uh, environmental representations as conditional inputs. The environment is formulated as a region with exclusion of characters and our model generates characters to populate these regions while maintaining coherence with the environmental context. So we propose a shape agnostic mass strategy that more effectively characterizes the relationship between character and environment. Furthermore, to enhance the fidelity of the object interactions, we leverage an object guider to extract features of interacting objects and employ spatial blending for uh, feature injection. We also introduce a post-modulation strategy that enables the model to handle more diverse motion patterns. Experimental results demonstrate the superior performance of the proposed method. So what was the motivation for it? So we propose Animate Anyone 2, which differs from previous character image animation methods that solely utilize motion signal to animate characters. So in this approach, additionally extracts environmental representation from the driving video, thereby enabling character animation to exhibit environment affordance. So what is the method that has been used? So this is the framework, a sample image, and inherence and training. So this is the inference image. And this is training that has been provided. It goes to the reference net. Then um, uh, again, uh, uh, there are a variety of steps that you can see here using which it processes it. So let's look at a few more examples. So this is environment interaction. You can see clear environment interaction here as this person is holding this up. Now this is again an example of um, environment interaction because in that video, you have a guitar. So this person is playing the guitar. So we need environmental interaction to interact with the guitar, which makes it 
much more real. So if you see dynamic motion, so here it involves dynamic motion while jumping through those items, all those things. A very good example will be this one, I would say, uh, a basketball. So where you had to bounce the basketball and put the basketball in the basket. So this is an example of human interaction. So if you compare with something like Wiggle, so this is like what we do in Wiggle. Wiggle is an app for that. Or swapping characters in a video based on a provided character image, which is similar to the application scenario of our method. We compare our results with the latest Wiggle V3. Outputs of Wiggle demonstrate a rough blending of the characters with the environment lack natural motion. So this is Wiggle. Okay. So they lack uh, natural motion and you can easily make out it is actually AI generated. But if you compare with this, you can see the difference. This is Wiggle. This is this. So now comes the question. When can we use this? How can we use this? So this has been uh, developed by Alibaba Group and they have actually not released the code of it. So they will release it soon is what uh, I, I, I came to know. But uh, as of now, they have not released the code. So you can go to the paper where they have published it. You can read that in a PDF format. So once they publish the code, then you can ut utilize in your projects. So this is the research paper, as you can see. So you can go through the details of it. So as of now, if you try to use it, you won't be able to use it because the code is not yet available yet. So I hope this information is useful. Thank you very much. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.